as UPND, we are concerned about the continued and conspicuous silence on the part of President Lungu regarding these you know, events in the nation in respect of the gas attacks. We believe that the situation in the country warrants a national address by the head of state. We note that at the height of the gas attacks, President Lungu has decided to be mute. This is sending signals to the nation that they should continue speculating what is going on in the country. Therefore, we urge President Lungu to break his silence on these gas attacks and state his position and join the rest of the nation in condemnation of these unprecedented gas attacks on our citizens. And as he does so, we would like as part of his address that he should tell the nation the state of the economy, how the economy has been affected by these gas attacks, because we are aware now that taxi drivers knock off early, bus drivers knock off early, shops close early, and other enterprises, they close early because of fear of these gas attacks. We would like to find out the state of the economy. We want statistics on probable job losses arising from this instability in the nation. We also like to know statistics in terms of tourist inflows in the country, how this has affected the hospitality industry, because we know there is no sensible human being who would like to travel to an insecure and unstable country. And this instability, additional to the gas attacks, has been exacerbated by some of the careless statements being made by leaders without substantiating them. For instance, when a vice president tells the nation that these gas attacks are the result of uh, a political party trying to oust government. Meaning, there is political instability in the country. Because if a legally and democratically elected government is about to be ousted by illegal means, then it means a country is unstable. That has a tendency and capability of affecting business in a big way, including foreign direct investment. Because people who want to invest in a country, first of all, look at political stability. Additional to political stability, they look at the stability of the legal regime. The signals government has been sending so far are worrying. And we are concerned that a clique of individuals should not be left to destroy our country because of careless statements. We urge President Lungu to break his silence. There is no more need on his part to be mute on this issue because it is very clear, abundantly clear to all and sundry that this scheme has backfired badly to government. Yes. It has backfired badly. Let them think about better things to do in a country like this one. Some of us are now tempted to think, oh, is this why they are saying HH will never enter state house? UPND will never form government. They are planning to gas people and say it is UPND. If 
that assumption which I hold is correct. It has boomeranged right in your face. It has backfired. It was a bad strategy. You can't have a strategy of causing terror in a country like this one, which has always been associated with peace. President Lungu, we urge you to break your silence. It has now to take former President Dr. Kenneth Kaunda to speak, to call for the end of this gassing. And we thank President Kaunda for his patriotism and for the message he gave that we should support government and security agencies. This is in line with what we as UPND have been saying, that the security agencies have our full support and cooperation to ensure that the country returns to normalcy. There is no way where when you go to media, there are daily updates, daily updates on coronavirus. Zambians are more updated on coronavirus. The comic was being, I mean, the, the, the nature of the, of the <coughs> virus and the, the, the probable you know, vaccines and uh, interventions that are being put in place every day, being told government uh, of China, government of this country is, is doing this. We are more updated about coronavirus, which is in China, what the Chinese government is doing than what the Zambian government is doing on these gas attacks. Why? We call on government to be more deliberate. We have been saying governing a country is not games. Dancing around Donona reverse, Donona reverse. Governing a country calls more than excitement of music. Governing a country goes beyond political propaganda and lies. Every day, what is supposed to be news from government, propaganda. Governing a country requires a government to be serious.